here's the other thing with crypto where we're at in the world right now. So there's a lot of arguments out there. I think people have their assumptions because of what mainstream media has been telling them, the different fear, uncertainty, and doubt that's sewed in there and blah, 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 blah. The main thing it comes down to is we're not we're in it for the tech, right? Which in crypto, that just means, <laughs> you know what that means. It's a joke. But, yeah, the joke yeah. is we, we're in crypto for the tech, but it's like, okay, no, we're in here to make money. Let's be real, right. guys. And, and by the way, full disclaimer, let's say it now, Charlie, hashtag not financial advice. Correct. You know, like my channel, I'm it's a legal channel. I tell them hashtag not legal advice. I can't yep. give them legal advice. We cannot give them financial advice. That's a one-on-one -on -one thing. If you want, you know, a one-on-one -on -one consultation, Charlie offers those. There's other people who will do a one-on-one -on -one consultation. I've done those with you and other people. Um, yep. That's separate. Uh, if you, you know, but this is education, so you can learn to do it yourself. Yep. That's and totally different. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And so. Um, you know, what it comes down to when we say, you know, we're, we're here for, to make money. Right. Um, and that's just being a hundred percent honest. We want to make as much money as possible in this market. I mean, that's why this market exists. Right. Um, and I mean, it exists for other reasons too, in terms of self-sovereignty and stuff like that. We talk a lot about a, a lot about but, that. But self-sovereignty comes from making money. It's like, you can't, if you're losing money, you don't have any sovereignty. You're a debt yeah, slave. You can't, yeah. you can't necessarily go against, um, you know, different government mandates when, um, you aren't able to, you know, basically finance your travel or finance your ability to move across uh, territories uh, globally. Which um, I'm not I'm not saying this happened with me. I'm saying because all of my crypto fell into the Sea of Japan on a tragic yachting accident. <laughs> uh, but theoretically, um, I will say as a person who travels a lot, it is one of the most convenient things for a person who travels a lot and lives a global lifestyle. If you are somebody correct. who is somebody who is not location dependent in your location independent. It is one of the best asset classes to hold. Um, a lot of people and even people here in the chat, I see people saying gold, you know, gold, real estate, guns and bullets. Well, each of those, and, and that's fine. I have some, oh, they gold. all have I, their purpose. Yep. They all have their purpose. I have a gold coin here that I keep with me whenever I travel. It's kind of cool. You know, it's old Cougar yeah. Rand, you know, Cougar <laughs> Rand. It's, it's pretty cool. It just looks cool. Yeah. Um, and it has its purpose. Um, same thing with, um, other asset classes, real estate, great asset class, especially if you're, um, holding it long-term over time and you're, uh, renting out the property, you can get great value out of that. Um, but, uh, equities, they have their place, their place. And we can talk about that if you have a match, but crypto excellent asset class. And another excellent asset class is the second half of cultivate crypto. Who's joining us here. There we Miguel. Go. <laughs> Miguel. You like that segue, brother? No, hey, thank you so much, man. I'm always fashionably late. Hey, it's, it's 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 all right you're on california time and you know it is what it is bro it's good to see him again hey what's going on how much what how much sleep on? are how much sleep are you